Mackenzie Thomas. Everybody at Sharks just calls me Kenny. Um, I have been playing at Sharks for nine years. Um, I work for an online invigilation company and I'm Canadian. Um, sorry, I'm, it, it's a lot less downtime um, for people to recover. I think that's a good point, Chloe. Um, and it's, I think it's about kind of our commitment to the team, to each other and our time management. And I mean, you don't always get it right. <laughs> um, we definitely will get it wrong sometimes. And unfortunately people have felt burnout because of it um, with all the things that they have to um, keep up with rugby and um, working in uni outside of that. Um, it is good that it's the, it's every team it feels like, I mean, international club, the way that the women's game is going, you know, we're going to have to go through this transition. Um, so it is good that it's going the way it's going. It's just, I guess, hard for us because we're still struggling to get to that completely professional level. So we need to be expected to train like prof professional athletes, um, but we're not professional athletes. Um, so we're just waiting for that next step for us to progress forward so that we can train like professional athletes and be professional athletes. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like you try, I mean, I got the opportunity to travel across the world to play for a team. And I think that's one thing that's great about the rugby community is that you can do that and you can kind of fall into a bunch of like, like-minded people that want to, you know, play the sport that we all love. Um, but I just do feel so lucky to have found um, kind of like a family here. So like, obviously I'm away from my friends, my family at home but I have such a great support network here of people and like these amazing people that I get to see, um, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Um, but yeah, I've made friends for life that have been older sharks that I still see and people that are still in the playing squad. Um, so I feel very lucky that there's, yeah, amazing group. Of um, like obviously the partner, the official partnership came, you know, in the season that was, our COVID season. Um, so the biggest changes that we saw was mostly facility-based um, so that we train there. They've got excellent gym facilities for us, um, but then we still have our game. Well, at last season we had games there as well, but then this season we play uh, back at the stadium uh, But when we're training um, at Durham. But so I do think that in the future, you know, when restrictions are a bit different, COVID's a bit different, if we see that, um, I think that we would see the benefit um, a lot more is like very much an integral part of who I am um obviously I've, I've been here for a long time and I've met some amazing women um and off like on the field amazing but like inspiring off the field as well people um like come from all different walks like have so many different jobs um have done so many amazing things and I'm probably going to continue to do so amazing things so it's amazing to have all of these people um that our friends and through friends have become family. So it is, yeah, a massive part of who I am and will always be even when I no longer put on the jersey. Mm -hmm.